Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am sharing with you my 12 slash 13 week pregnancy update. I am coming to you as a no makeup, tired mom with a really bad hairdo today. I did not have the capacity to put in energy because it's been an exhausting few days and I have a lot to update and share with you guys. We've had some pregnancy complications, but I will get into everything. Um, I will start with the complications first and then I'm gonna go into all my symptoms and, and all the good stuff and the bump at the end. So I am just at the end of my 13th week. Um, I wanted to put out a 12 week update, but with a couple issues that I had, I thought I'd wait so I can update all at once. So a couple days ago, I had severe cramping, um, extreme, extreme, extreme pain. I was on the floor all day and it went through the night, just over, you know, peeled over, just in severe pain. Um, there was, for the first few hours, there was no bleeding but I thought it was the start of, of a miscarriage and it was really, really excruciating. I also had like an ovarian cyst type of pain um, in that area and I was like, okay, this is confirming a miscarriage for me. I It was the day of my son's birthday actually, so I managed to have a little bit of a break from the pain and I fell asleep and I woke up um, to bleeding. I went to the bathroom panicking, like the blood was literally draining from my face. I was so scared. Um, and yes, I was bleeding. It was not a lot, but there was there was bleeding and the bleeding lasted three days. Um, for the first two days, I was crushed and I was so stressed. I had called the midwives and they said, at this point, it's just a wait and see. So just lay down, don't move much and we'll see what happens. So. Thankfully, the cramping had stopped and the bleeding slowed down a bit, but I was still under the impression that I was going to be miscarrying soon. My sister, sister-in-law, so my sister's sister-in-law had a Doppler that she, you know, gave to my sister to give to me to use. And I used it, so I think it was a day before yesterday. Um, I was still bleeding, I was still cramping, I was certain that I was miscarrying, I was extremely emotional, it was a very, very hard two days for me and my whole family. Um, I put the Doppler on my stomach and we heard the heartbeat, it was 159, it was nice and strong, and I was like, like in tears, just crying, because at that point I thought that baby was already gone. So, we listened to the heartbeat again later that night, in the morning yesterday and then this morning and the heartbeats around 148 right now there's still a heartbeat so and the bleeding has stopped so i don't know what the bleeding is from uh, when i have my midwife appointment we're going to look into it a little bit more but i did have a really bad fall two weeks ago and i feel like it might have been something triggered from that i'm not sure but what i am very happy about is that the bleeding did stop and it was not excessive bleeding but it was a significant amount so like I did have to wear a pad and there was also a lot of discharge which was you know really stressful as well because it was quite a bit so anyway long story short to wrap that section up I am NOT bleeding anymore as of this morning uh, my cramping has stopped my stomach grew a lot which is a good sign to me um, yeah everything seems to be going okay and I'm listening to the baby's heartbeat all the time just to make sure all is well. I have my first official midwife appointment um, on February 8th, I believe, but I uh, am gonna try to get it, get in earlier than that. My next ultrasound is on, it's end of uh, February, so that's when we're gonna find out the gender, which I will be doing a little reveal, but I am going to see if we can get a 3D ultrasound just privately. We'll pay out of pocket for that one and get one sooner. Um, just because I'm not sure if I want to wait more than a month still to see baby. Um, the nice thing about the 3D ultrasound is that the kids can come in. You get a DVD copy of it. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to do that. But those are the updates with the current complications and issues. Um, it's definitely been a roller coaster of emotions the past few days. And yeah, I thought it was, I thought that was it and we were crushed. We really planned this so well. Uh, we really wanted a July baby. We wanted just the way we, everything worked out. I was like, it has to be meant to be. And then when this happened, we were just 
so overwhelmed, but thankfully all is well. Okay, so to get to updates, what has been going on? Not much. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my workouts. I have been working out, not as much as I'd like because I have been really sick and heartburn has been horrible like I never have heartburn but for some reason this pregnancy it's just been so bad to the point that I can't do any movements or everything's just coming up so I would say I work out a couple times a week my workouts are completely different each time and it completely depends on how I'm feeling so some days I will do a good weightlifting workout to you know strengthen and tone muscle another day will just be um, a Pilates workout which is a, like no weights so it's a little easier for me sometimes depending on how tired I am other days if I'm high energy I'll do a HIIT workout um, so it honestly just depends on literally how I'm feeling but I do try to do something um, just to not just for weight I'm not really caring about my weight more importantly I want to keep my muscles and my muscle tone strong and healthy because you heal quicker and I noticed that so much postpartum with my other pregnancies so I love feeling strong I like you know supporting and keeping my body healthy so workouts um, my heartburn there was another complication my heartburn was so bad and it still is but it's gotten a little better but it was so bad a week or two ago and for the whole start of my pregnancy that between the constant heartburn in my esophagus and throwing up because i've been throwing up too um i actually started coughing up blood and a good amount um my my throat was just so raw and that like epithelial lining in the throat was just destroyed from all of the acid because the throat's very alkaline so yeah it was it was bad i would feel the instant extreme burning and that i would just start going like <laughs> like trying to get something out and then just blood would come out and this was happening for actually a couple weeks so i know i lost a lot of iron through that it's healed now what i've been doing is a lot of lemon ginger and honey drinks i've been doing marshmallow root which is so great for the throat um but the biggest thing i've been doing and this sounds horrible but it's not eating much as soon as i eat i get the heartburn so it's really deterred me from wanting to eat um it just makes me so uncomfortable so i've really just stopped eating as much um and that helps the heartburn so my throat has had a chance to have a break what i am eating um is really healthy as much as i can so for dinners uh, and lunches I'll do smoothies I'll do salads and you know soups all kinds of healthy things I actually made a video on my other channel um, it's happy holistic life channel and I just filmed a what I eat in a day video there and it's what I eat in a day during pregnancy so if you guys are curious to see what I'm eating you can head to that channel um, and check that video out but and the supplements I'm taking are in there as well but yeah I, I've been eating fairly well but the one downfall is that the only thing that stops my nausea which gets horrible in the car um, or with any motion or movement is chips so I have been kind of going to town on organic potato chips which isn't great because there's like empty calories it's greasy food it's just not not healthy so i mean the ingredients are really good it's with avocado oil but still i've been eating a lot of chips it's the only thing that immediately stops the nausea for me so that's been fun but other than that no things have been going fairly well with diet i'm just not eating a ton so i i did lose quite a bit of weight in the beginning it's slowly coming back um and it will continue to come back for sure as i progress through pregnancy it always does but yeah it's been it's been a lot it's been a little bit of a journey so far Something else I've been having an issue with, which is better now, but was horrible in the beginning and the past couple weeks has been constipation. Um, I never have constipation ever. And I've been eating a lot of um, uh, fiber, but my problem is I have not been drinking nowhere near enough water. And the reason is because of the heartburn. If I would drink water, I would either vomit it up or it would burn up and I would my throat would be in pain. So I wasn't really getting a lot of fluids in no matter how much I was trying. And so it caused a lot of constipation, which was really uncomfortable. Now that heartburn subsided a little bit, I've been getting a little more water in and I'm just kind of sipping throughout the day. But I do have to still be careful because heartburn will still come if I'm not careful. So constipation has been fun. Um, now, as far as my mood, I have been very tired. Um, it's gotten better since the very start. I'm now officially in my second trimester. So the first trimester, 
complete exhaustion. Second trimester, I'm slowly getting my energy back, which is good. But because I was bleeding um, and had a lot of complications so far, I've literally been sitting on this couch. I'm doing my consults sitting. I'm doing all my business stuff sitting. I'm mostly sitting. The only time I'm actually walking or moving is if I'm working out or cooking or cleaning. So um, I have been not that sleepy because I'm not really doing much. It's not not really doing anything that's exhausting. So yeah, I've been sitting here just resting, um, listening to my body. But another thing has been major depression. So it's gotten better now. Literally the last week it lifted, but the whole week before that, so I would say week 10, 11, week 12, horrible depression. Like I was just sitting on the couch, not wanting to cook, not wanting to clean, not wanting to eat, not wanting to work, not wanting to talk to anyone. My best friend, you know, knew I wasn't having like the best time. She came over and, and spent some time with me and that helped lift my mood so much. But it was just not great. Something happens, you know, I always have this in my life where I go through like these mood swings where I'm really happy, then really depressed. And it kind of just goes like this. It's definitely thyroid imbalance. I have major hormonal imbalances. So I know it's from that, but it, when I'm down, I'm down and it was just a lot. Um, it was really hard to find motivation to do anything, but thankfully I'm in the up now. So feeling a lot better. The bad weather, the cold, the darkness, the lack of sun really affects me. Like I definitely have sad, um, you know, that seasonal disorder and I, I just thrive in the summer and I get really stressed out and, and sad in the winter. So for sure I have that uh, seasonal disorder and it's not helping with the depression. Um, okay, last thing I want to share and then I'll show you the bump is planning for baby. So I have not been doing much planning. I am really, I've mentioned this in my last pregnancy update, but I'm really chill this pregnancy in regards to what needs to be done for baby, what we need. I'm going to keep it like super minimal. So I'm not really doing much, but, um, once we know what we're having, I will then start shopping for clothes. And my goal this pregnancy or this postpartum period is to really stick to organic as much as possible. So with my other kids, they had a lot of uh, eczema issues and health issues. I don't wanna say health issues, they were very healthy, but they had eczema and things like that that I want to avoid with this baby. And being a holistic nutritionist, a homeopath, I feel like I need to live up to that by really going organic. My kids use standard diapers, standard wipes with my other ones six years ago, eight years ago. So now, we're gonna do completely organic diapers. Uh, I'm making my own wet wipes. My sister-in-law gave me an awesome recipe for that and they work beautifully. Um, so I'm gonna be just doing completely organic everything. I'm gonna go for organic cotton clothes and that kind of stuff. So it's gonna cost a lot. So for me, it's gonna be quality over quantity. I'm gonna get a little bit of a few amazing pieces that I love and just really keep the, the wardrobe small. My kids are always born big and they grow rapidly and they outgrow the, the clothing stages way too quickly that they never get through all their clothes. So we're gonna keep it really minimal and simple. Um, and I'll, I'll share more of that as we go through the pregnancy as what I'm buying, what I have prepped for baby. But so far we have nothing. I have a stuffy and my mom bought one little organic cotton sleeper on Christmas just for fun. So that's literally all I have right now. Um, we do have a high chair, we have a buggy, but we're gonna need everything else, the car seat and stuff. So I'll take you guys through that as we go through it, but that's about it. So I am about to enter my 14th week, I believe. So I'm in the second trimester. Um, I'm just hoping from here it's up and up. It's less um, mood issues, less nausea, less heartburn. I just want to pass all of that. Uh, we are going on a little trip um, next week, just staying like within Canada, but we're going away for a little bit um, and do like a lot of summer activities with their winter activities with the kids. Um, it's a three to four hour drive. So I'm curious to see how that goes because I can't drive five minutes without wanting to throw up. So I think I'm going to be snacking on a lot of chips in the car probably. But anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you guys are doing well. If you have any questions about my pregnancy so far, you can comment down below. Oh, and I guess one thing I should mention, I forgot, and it's been such a common question is about my prolapse. So if you have been following me for a while, with my other pregnancies, which again, were like six years ago or more now, um, my, my third pregnancy, so my daughter, my last pregnancy that I had before, um, my second last pregnancy I had before this one, I did have a prolapse. It was not a full one, it was a partial prolapse, but I had three kids under three years and all my kids were around nine pounds. They were 24 inches long, so just 
massive babies and I'm a very small person. I'm five foot three. I'm like 125 ish pounds maybe. So I'm really small. Um, so it was a lot of weight and three kids back to back, like literally no break. I would get pregnant like three months after um, I give birth. So my body never had a chance to tighten tone and, and, and strengthen. And so I did have a prolapse. My pelvic floor was so weak. Um, I improved and fixed my pelvic floor by doing pelvic floor workouts and exercises. So my prolapse is corrected. I still do have a bit of diastasis recti. So it's like a one and a half to two finger gap. Um, whereas it used to be a three and a half finger gap. So it was a massive uh, separation. I've closed that a little bit. I haven't been as diligent with my workouts, which I know if I had been my pelvic floor workouts and my transverse abdominus workouts that it would have been closed even more. But I'm doing those workouts during this pregnancy to really strengthen my core and my pelvic floor as much as possible. So to answer your question, I do not have the prolapse. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't, you know, happen again. I've done a lot of strengthening, so I think I'm okay. And my diastasis recti is still there, but it's more mild than it ever used to be. So things are well, and I'm, I'm just really excited this pregnancy is a little bit different than the other one. It's still been a little bit challenging with all of the complications that we've had so far, but overall it's still easier and um, I'm very thankful for that. So I'm really excited to see how things go and progress, but all is well so far. Thank you everyone for your well wishes. If you follow me on Instagram, you get some updates about my pregnancy from there. So I appreciate all the love and support always. Um, I'm going to show you guys the bump and then that'll be it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so you can't see it well with this shirt, but I do have these really cute maternity leggings on. So if I just lift up my shirt, this is the bump so far. It definitely got a lot bigger than my last pregnancy update. So it's really expanding this time around. This is what it looks like from the front and then the other side. So it's a good size bump now, but it's definitely growing. This is what it looks like with the shirt. So you can definitely see it sticking out now. And there you go.